everybody. I've got a tag for you today. Um, I watched Michelle over at Makeup MLC do this this morning, and I just thought it was so cute and kind of informative without being intrusive or weird, you know, or silly, um, that I decided to do it. If I didn't get tagged. Of course, nobody loves me. But I will start my own garden. I'll plant my own flowers and grow it myself. So I've got a tag for you. It's 50 questions called the TMI tag. Let's get started. Because we all know I like to ramble. Number one, what are you wearing? I am wearing just a big, warm, big shirt and a cap that I keep on my hair when I've got a mask on my head. Which, as you can see, I have a hair mask on. Um... I put them on on Sunday night or Saturday nights and take them off Sunday morning, and it is Sunday afternoon. So, um, have I ever been in love? Absolutely. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, I have. <laughs> oh boy, how tall are you? I am five foot nine. How much do you weigh? Is that in metric or <laughs> TMI? <laughs> Any tattoos? Yes, I do, and I would have more if my father wouldn't have talked me out of it many years ago. Um, I love a good tattoo, but I'm kind of glad that he talked me out of it because I see what they do when, when you start to get older. It's not always pretty. Any piercings? Um, right now, all I have left are my ears, but at one point I had this thing pierced right here. The name of that escapes me. I want to keep... I want to keep saying labia, but obviously it's not that. However, on that note, at one point in my life, I had everything from my chin down pierced that could be pierced. Everything. Uh, one true pairing, OTP, that would be my parents. They both, they both died last year, and they would have celebrated their 50th anniversary, and I have never seen them fight. Never. In all my life, I had never seen them fight. Favorite show, that would be The Walking Dead, which comes back on, premieres for their second season. Well, it's the it's the second um, season for this year in about four hours, and I'm excited. I'm making Frito pies and baking cakes and making jello shots and everything. Um, favorite band or music? Uh, my favorite band is Hands Down Iron Maiden. I even named my truck after him. Um, my, my ex went to school with um to a music school with Bruce Dickinson who is the lead singer for Iron Maiden um and I know Bruce Dickinson I've met him many 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 times and um he is also a very accomplished pilot which is a pretty big turn on and I also know Ozzy Osbourne and James Hetfield from Metallica and my ex was a musician so yeah Iron Maiden um something I miss that would be my parents um my parents and my oldest daughter. She lives in Eureka, California, and I haven't seen her since my parents died last last year. So, yeah. Um, favorite song? Favorite song? Oh my gosh! Wow. I don't even know. Um, Die with your boots on from Iron Maiden. Um, how old are you? I just turned 46, January 4th. Zodiac sign, I am a Capricorn. Very much so. Quality I look for in a partner, loyalty. Period. That's it. Um, if you have loyalty, everything else falls into place, but you have to have that one thing. Favorite quote, I would rather live my life believing in a God only to find out there is not one when I die than live my life not believing in a God um, only to find out there is one when I die. Oh, and my dad's favorite one was, I was okay once, but then I got over it. <laughs> I love that. He used to say it all the time. It cracked me up every single time. Favorite actor, uh, Robert Duvall. Robert Duvall, absolutely. I swear I would eat the corn right out of that man's goulash. <laughs> favorite color. Uh, maroon and green, um, generally forest or emeraldy green and maroon, um, kind of like what I'm wearing today. If I swear, if I could get away with it and not walk around looking like a antiquated Christmas tree, I would wear them all the time. <laughs> They're my favorite colors. Loud music or soft? It depends on the mood, but usually I'm I've got it jamming out. I'm a I'm a headbanger. I'm an old headbanger, <laughs> big time. Um, where do you go when you are sad? Well, I go to my happy place, don't we all? <laughs> I usually hit 
I usually jump in my truck and go up in the mountains. Or if I am unable to do that because I have a bug with me or something with my grandson bug, um, I'll come in this room and I will literally rub my face raw from putting on makeup and taking it off and trying another look and taking it off and just doing that. Trying new techniques, you know, or something I've thought of or something like that. But it's either into this room or up in the mountains. Um, how long for a shower? 15, 20 minutes? It depends on if I have to shave. <laughs> how long to get ready in the AM? Um, I can get ready in 30 minutes up to 2 hours. It depends on how long I lock myself. Um, ever been in a physical fight? Absolutely. friggin lutely <laughs> I was the only Cherokee on a mostly Ute reservation growing up. So, yeah. I've been in a lot of fist fights. Not to mention with my ex. Turn-ons. Um, good hygiene, period. Good hygiene and everything that follows. Um, and a man's hands that almost don't look human. <laughs> my husband is a mechanic and he is generally, he He's generally not the kind of guy that I would go for because I like a guy that's bigger than me and that means they got to be pretty big. But Rick is Rick is 5'10", so he's not, you know, he's like right there above me. We're like eye to eye. But his hands, he's, like I said, he's a mechanic. And his hands, they're just so chewed up and destroyed. They don't even... They almost don't even look human. And they feel like frickin' rocks on my skin. And that's a turn-on for Julie. <laughs> Biggest turn-off? Um, the absolute opposite of that. Bad hygiene and manicured soft hands on a man. Ew. 26. Reason I joined YouTube. Um, I've been watching YouTube for years. I never really watched YouTube for, like, the music videos and stuff. I've got all that in my, you know, in my computer or on my um, stereos or my truck or whatever, you know. But I always watched YouTube for the beauty videos to see what was out there that, um, you know, I've always lived in. Um, I moved up here from Wyoming. And even in Wyoming, the town I lived in was only, like, 800 people. And I had to travel over to Jackson and Cody and stuff for work. And um, even there, you know, you don't see the new and upcoming um, cosmetics. And I would go on YouTube to search for those. And so, yeah, beauty, beauty related. And, of course, joining was the same thing. Um, it's always, I'm like the movie maker in my family, you know. Anytime there was a function, what's left of us anyway? There's nobody left now. It's just me and my daughters. But... Um, anytime there was a function, it was always me that showed up to take the video, and, you know, I like, I love taking videos. I, everything that I see in a day, I'm thinking, oh, I should have my video, you know, I should take a video. But that can get kind of crazy after a while. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was just to beauty, beauty related, absolutely, and that's why I joined, too. Because I think I have a lot to offer, and once I build up a subscriber base, um, my brand, my own brand will be out there. Um, my biggest fears were realized last year. I lost my parents. Um, I fear about losing my kids or something happening to my grandson. And bees. <laughs> bees. Wasps. Hornets. Yellow jackets. Flying around. Dangling their legs all dangling like this. And I swear, I could be going down a highway at 80 miles an hour. And if I even see a bee fly past my window, <laughs> trying to get away from it. Oh, man. Over the cliff. <laughs> I hate bees. I, I've got an irrational fear. Irrational fear. There's a word for it. There's a phobia about it. I just don't know what it is right now. Um, number 28, last thing that made you cry. That was just a little while ago, a couple hours ago. I was running through the um, pictures on my computer and a, um, a great big screen-sized picture of my mom and dad that was taken just about a month before they died. They were hugging each other, and my dad was standing over mom, hugging her from behind. She was in her wheelchair, and that made me break down. Um, 29, the last time you said you love someone was just a minute ago when I laid my grandson down for a nap. Um, 30, meaning behind your YouTube. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the meaning behind your YouTube name. Okay, that's my business name. Um, it used to be, which is Big Sky Beauty. That's because Montana is the Big Sky State, you know. And then um, my old name is Hill House Beauty, and that was down in Wyoming. And, and when we moved to Montana, I changed it. 
um, last book you read. The last book I read was um, The Black Dagger Brotherhood. And if any of you vampire fans out there, well, not vampire fans, but vampire story fans, you've got to get J.R. Ward, Black Dagger Brotherhood. There's like ten or eleven books in the series and it's about a a race of vampire warriors that are in place to protect the vampire race that live among humans and they mate and marry humans and, and all that kind of stuff and and there's no you know biting and changing and nothing like that um, but it is just excellent excellent series Woo! excellent really good racy really good racy vampire sex in it too <laughs> The uh, book I'm currently reading is Dark Witch from Nora Roberts. 33, last show you watched. Um, that would be... Hmm, the last show I watched? Probably House Hunters. 34, the last person you talked to. That would be my grandson when I put him down for a nap. 35, relationship between the last person you text. That would be my grandson's mother, my daughter, and it, it is very tumulus. Difficult. My favorite food, bloody steak. 37, place you want to visit, that would be Ireland. I inherited a parcel of land over in Ireland several years ago. It's been in my family for hundreds of years. Um, my father was full Irish, and it is, from what I understand, it is what is equal to about an acre and a half of American, um, you know, size age or whatever. And it is within walking distance of the Cliffs of Moher. And apparently there is a old rundown thatch hut on it. And I have been contacted by numerous people to sell it for, like, more money than I would ever dream to have. But I just, you know, it's been in my family for hundreds of years. And my grandma left it to me for a reason. Because she knows my my level of loyalty. You know, she would have left it to my douchebag brother. been gone a long time ago. Anyways. Um, okay, place you want to visit. Ireland. Last place you were living room <laughs> in town would have been TJ Maxx 39 do you have a crush I kind of have a crush um, my best friend rocket James he he's been my best friend for almost 30 years um, he he took my children in and has been their father since their father was never there for them. He has always been the absolute rock in my life beyond, but except for my father absolute rock and and he's super super good looking on top of it <laughs> so I kind of crush on him but I would never tell him that um, 40 last kiss that would be my grandson when I put him down for a nap last insult 41 that would be the little douchebag that keeps sending me messages here on YouTube it's not pro public on my videos but he keeps sending me private messages I don't know if it's a guy or a girl some Ali Mahad Dahai Shad guy and he, they keep saying to me why are you doing beauty videos you're you look twice as old as you really are and you're fat and you're ugly and your skin is terrible and I, screw you buddy don't watch my videos if you don't like them I'm thinking it's my ex I do I think it's either my ex or my husband's ex-wife which that would be even more viable it's because it's just bizarre that I mean I've only been on YouTube for a freaking month and I'm getting all these well, it's not all. There's been like four of them in the last day and a half. And and I do think that it's somebody who knows me, obviously, that's trying to beat me down, which if they know me, they should know that that's not going to work. Okay. Number 42 is Faith Flavor of Sweet. That would be maple. Maple and bacon, to be specific. 43, what instruments do you play? Oh, gosh. All of them. Um, I play bass, drums, guitar, um... Uh, clarinet, um, piano. I play piano is the only thing I really kept up on though in my older years is piano. Uh, 44. Fav place, favorite piece of jewelry? That would be my mother's wedding band which is that right there. Um, I wear it, this one right here, I wear it on top of mine. Um, she, she had me take this off of her in the hospital when she was dying and I don't take it off. I feel like it's bringing me and my husband good karma putting it over our wedding band. I really do. And he wears my he wears my dad's wedding band. Um last sport you played. <laughs> Target shooting. 
Um, when me and Rick took the guns out last weekend and went target shooting. But other than that, I like watching sports. But um, now in high school and, and college, I was a major athlete, major athlete. But now um, I have just put on too much weight from all the surgeries and the steroids and really depression from losing my entire family last year. My dad died in January. Mom died in May of a broken heart. And then my brother died in November. So um, I've just put a ton of weight on some sports. Yeah. <laughs> but I will one day soon. Hopefully. Um, the last song you sang. It is battling with these questions in my head right now. And it's a uh, Lido Shuffle from Boss Gags. If you guys know that song, I love old 16s and 70s music. I love it. Um, that song, Lido. Oh, Lido. Lido, Lido, Lido. Oh, yeah, that song. <laughs> Fave chat up line. Chat up line. What the hell does that mean? Like, like, what's up? <laughs> that. Have you ever used it? I just did. <laughs> 49. Last time you hung out with anyone. Besides my daughter and my gra my daughters and my grandson, it's been a long time um, since my parents died. I fell into this funk. And I, I don't know. My husband has actually asked me, do you think maybe you need to see somebody for that? But... I just, my parents were my best friends, and they lived three blocks away from me, and they both died right in front of me. I was at the hospital holding their hands, no, obviously not at the same time, but I was at the hospital holding their hands while the life drained from them, and I just can't, I just can't get at, I, I'm, I'm fractured, just completely fractured. Number 50, who should answer these next? Um... I'm going to tag a couple people below. I'm not going to name them right here because I want this to be over. Um, I, gonna, you know, I'll tag a few of you below, and I hope you do them, especially you gals that have been on here for quite some time, and, and you know, um, I hope you do them. So that's it. Um, I hope you liked it. I kind of had fun doing it, um, so... I love you all. Thank you for being here. And uh, don't forget my giveaway is in just like 10 days. I'm I'm really getting excited. I think I'm more excited than any of you guys. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, if you haven't commented and subscribed already, please do that. And uh, I've got some videos taped of... Um, I did... I've got a few uh, of clients that let me... Video um, that let me tape me doing their makeup, so that's kind of cool. Um, but I do, I have to get a release from them. I just feel like I have to because they it was filmed through my business and I'm gonna put it on YouTube, so I'm gonna get a release from them. And at the time, I didn't remember to do that, so um, but yeah, I've got a bunch of different videos filmed. I just like I'm trying to wait, you know, to bide my time putting them up. So, <laughs> also, one more thing before I go, I am going to start a series called um, Trick Tutorials. Like, you know, tips and tricks. But this is going to be tutorials on tricks, and it's just they're just going to be really brief, kind of like how Emily Noel does over there when she she has the uh, Beauty Broadcast Express channel, you know, where she does like those five minute reviews. Well, I'm going to do that with little tricks, and I'm calling them tutorials. Huh? It's really good. It's snazzy, huh? So watch for that. Um, if you're at my channel reading, watching this video, you saw that I kind of reconfigured my videos and I put them in categories so that um, you know if you happen to not see in your in your thread that I've got a new video up, um, you can just go in and look where it's at, or if you want to use one for reference at some point or whatever. Um, I'm probably putting way too much thought into this. Who knows? But. Um, I've got stuff planned, and I'm excited about it, because I plan on being here for a long time. So, all you guys have a wonderful night, and I have got to go start preparing for The Walking Dead. Have a good night, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.